Hello, my name is Kevin Holtzclaw. I'm one of the uh, directors of Climate Spheres UK. In the first video of our program here, uh, Matt Dickinson presented our overall plan under the SSFF grant, um, basically to be working with biochar and its use on farm to help in uh, farmers with crop growth and, and health, and uh, also to help with the soil and enhancement. Um, I'm going to be expounding on that just a little bit and uh, talk in some detail about what to expect over the next three to four months of this program. Maybe the best place to start is to identify what is biochar. When biomass is burnt or ignited, it forms uh, a char, hence the name biochar, that is basically carbon and very, very high in carbon content, as well as some ash. And it's also, it also does not um, uh, give off any harmful uh, uh, elements, which is a very sizable benefit of that whole program of, of burning the biomass. Um, as we've shown, we are going to be utilizing it uh, to enhance soil, uh, enhance crop growth, um, but there's also a number of other uses uh, for biochar. Uh, another one on the farm is actually as a supplement to um, uh, cattle and uh, other uh, uh, foods, food products. Um, and then it even has gone even beyond that to where it's being utilized to support uh, the construction industry, primarily in green growth materials. Uh, it's a, a strength adder to uh, materials that are used um, in lieu of uh, timber and lumber. It's also found its way into the use of uh, uh, water um, uh, clarity and purification by uh, removing um, heavy metals from, uh, from water. So in any event, you can see there's a whole huge use of biochar um, across the board. But as Matt had indicated, you know, our focus is going to be um, in working with a Welsh farmer, Kay Davies, and his farm in Pembrokeshire where we are going to uh, take biochar, apply it um, in a new uh, field that Kay is going to be growing a new crop on and then being able to assess the benefits of the biochar, looking at the field and seeing areas where the biochar has been applied against another area where there is no biochar, against another area where we're going to actually be using biochar plus on-farm slurry. So we'll get some very good um, feedback on the benefits of the biochar application. I know Matt pointed out, I think, in the initial video that we have already worked with some very good collaborations. We worked with um, Crop Health and Protection along with um, Aber Innovations and Aberis with University to do some chemical assessments of biochar and understanding the chemical composition and the potential benefits that it can bring to add to soil and enhance the soil and ultimately the crop production. So we hope you'll uh, join us in coming months. Next month's video will be coming to you from Kay's farm where Kay himself will be laying out in more detail with some very good uh, visuals exactly where the biochar is going to be placed um, and what we can expect in coming months of the program. So we are thankful that you joined us and we hope you'll join us in the coming months.